Hey guys, welcome to Mike Martin's channel. Mike Martin's here. I got a surprise for you guys. I get a lot of questions, people asking me what kind of board games are good, uh, what kind of games do you do I like to play, which board games sell the most at my shop. Well, it's very simple. I'm actually gonna make a video of top seven zombie games. Why zombies? Because zombies are pretty big right now, and I've been selling zombie games pretty much in the nine years I've been in business, and I'm gonna show you guys the top seven zombie games to pick up if you don't play board games or want to get into board games. I'll let you know the difficulty levels on each one, okay? Here we go. The most basic, number seven, zombies. Zombies is a game where basically you flip tiles and you lurk the streets until you find the helicopter pad and get off and survive. Very good game for number seven. Very easy, 30 minutes to play. Number six, zombie 15. Why is zombie 15 uh, all the way up at number six level? Because it takes 15 minutes to play, and I like games that are at least 45 minutes. Very good game, very quick movements, and surviving the zombies. And the game really is 15 minutes, because there's about, um, there's, there's about 15 to 20 scenarios, and there's, and basically you have three waves of, of um, movements and attacks and survival. Not a bad game, I've played it twice, I liked it a lot. Number five, Dead Panic. Dead Panic is a, a spin-off of Castle Panic. If you played Castle Panic before, here is what it looks like here. Very good game. Um, basically moving inwards and working your way into the, uh, or out, depending on how you play it. Um, so, so zombie Survival, same thing. Same, pretty, pretty much the same concept on each game. Number four, Escape from Sunset Island. Yes, Escape from Sunset Island is locally made here in Vancouver. And the game is fantastic. It's basically escaping from Sunset Island. It's fantastic. The, the, you, you pick up um, provisions and stuff that you need to survive and, and um, got zombies attacking from every angle. It's a beautiful game. It's cooperative. Um, it's definitely ranked easily ranked at number four of the top seven zombie games ever made. Uh, very nicely priced for what it is. And it's a zombie apocalypse simulator. Number three, The Last Night on Earth. Yes, The Last Night on Earth is fantastic. I love this game. It almost reminds me of a Rob Zombie movie, A House of Thousand Corpses. Excellent game. You could put two of these uh, pads together here. And you can make one two-player game if you want to play with just two players. Fantastic game. Excellent to play with the family. I love it. I love it. I love it. I think it should be easily in the top three. And let's go to number two. Same thing. Got to survive the zombies. Number two. Zombicide Black Plague! Zombicide has like eight titles with 15 different other compulsory expansions they could add famous people to. The game is fantastic, but I love the Black Plague. And it's fantastic. Looks like it takes place in old London back in the day of the during the plague. The game is just uh, phenomenal. I love it. Uh, I played it. It came out two weeks ago. I played it for the first time. Uh, it takes uh, a hundred an hour to play. Uh, usually 120 minutes um, for setup too, because they're not including the setup in this, and the setup is a little bit, a little bit, a little bit more longer than you expect. But Black Plague for sure, great game. I think it's of the zombie side ever made. I love the spin-off with the Black Plague, Old London, fantastic. And number one, are you ready for this? <laughs> Dead of Winter, yes, Dead of Winter, ladies and gentlemen. Dead of Winter is by far one of the better. Semi-co-op, cooperative, there's many ways to play the game. Lots of scenarios to choose. Fantastic game, excellent art, excellent um, replayability because of the amount of, of different um, scenarios you could choose to play. It's, 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 I, I, liked it. I played it three times, I loved it every time, and I'm looking forward to playing it again. And I just thought I'd just throw this out there because, you know, I get some people asking me about games, asking me what games are good, what games sell better, what games sh should they invest in, and it, what games should they play if they don't play games. Well, here, I'll show you right now. If you don't play board games and you, you don't want to learn rules and you don't want to waste time and you're playing with people that don't want to play board games, you want to get this one. This is the number one game you want to get because it's just point and shoot. Point and shoot and get to the helicopter pad. Very simple. Number two would be... If you don't want to learn a lot of rules, I think it would be Escape from Sunset Island would be number two. A very fun, very economical game. Very easy to play, designed for people that don't play a lot of games and just want something simple. Number three, I think, would be Last Night on Earth. A very simple game to play. Uh, 
it's the timing is it's a long game, so it's about two hours long. Uh, it usually takes me two longer because setup takes a while too. And yeah, I just thought I'd just throw these out there because uh, I do have the resources and I've played most of these games. And uh, yeah, anyways, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can follow my adventures and all things I do and, you know, gossip and ranting that I do. Anyway, thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Bye.